Vedas and associated scriptures constantly glorify Sri Guru. The Vedas constantly sing the glories of He by whose grace loving devotion is attained and ignorance is uprooted. Acharyavan Purusho Veda from Chandogya Upanishad. Transcendental principles are understood by he who has taken shelter of Sri Guru's lotus feet and who is surrendered to his service. So here are, these are all quotes from Upanishads. To those great souls who recite the Vedas with equal devotion to Guru and God, the purport of all this Vedic knowledge will be revealed. This is very famous verse. Yeah. yeah. Prabhupada used to say many times. Do you have a mic? <laughs> Thank you. To those. Then Guru Dev can listen. Oh, should I use the microphone? Yeah. Then Guru Dev also can listen. To those great souls who recite the Vedas with equal devotion to Guru and God. The purport of all this Vedic knowledge will be revealed. It means that love is endless. There's enough love for everyone. There's enough love for Guru. There's enough love for God. There's no end. Could you say again? Amen. Love is infinite. There's enough for God and for Guru. It does not divide. It doesn't divide in pieces and bits. It's infinite. So our tendency, so we have ego, material ego, false ego. Therefore we want to divide. I like this person, I love this person, but I don't like this person. I don't love this person, this would never be said. But uh, actually, if we are spiritual consciousness, everybody is, is our brother and sister. So, that's it. You so are the right. division is in material experience? Yes. Exactly. Yes. The other, the other part of this quote mm. is that um, <coughs> by this surrender, by this total devotion, then all the Vedas, so the vast knowledge of the Vedas, the essence of that will be revealed to us without studying those separately. You see, so I think you know, Prabhupada say, no need to be a Vedic scholar and read the Big Rig Veda, Samayaju Veda, all these things. No need to read because by Surrender to Guru, all of the purport, in other words, uh, the, the um, conclusion of all that will be revealed to us automatically. Okay. 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 He addressed his readers and telling Krishna try to understand everyone loves Krishna. He's, they want Krishna Prema is very available, available. But Krishna loves Shiva Radhika. Means that Param Satyam Dima Ishi is supreme truth. Okay. Yeah. For, for the sake of acquiring knowledge, 
for the sake of acquiring knowledge. Approach a guru who is learned in the scriptures and fixed in spiritual consciousness with firewood in the hand. You should know Sri Guru to be me in truth. In the Chandogya Upanishad of the Samaveda, the following narration of the glories of Sri Guru can be found. You know, it is said that one should approach a bona fide guru, but how much um, are we that approach that guru, or instead is that guru that approaches us? That find us, how much are we finding that guru, or is that guru that is finding us? Is it clear? No. Yes, very good question. Yeah, so I don't catch. Could you? Uh, is it the devotee who finds the guru, or the guru who finds the devotee? Aha, uh -huh, that's a question. Mm. Oh, interesting. Huh? Very good. Very interesting. Can I explain? Yeah. One a slope is there. <coughs> sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. Sarva Sastra Pai. It's not running. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. Sarva Sastra Pai. Mm -hmm. Understand? Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang always is recommended by Sastra, not Guru Sang. Sorry to say. <laughs> is, a, is a Bangla. Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang, more word, volume. Open. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sav Sastra Kaya. Love Matra. Sadhu Sangha, Sav Siddhi Hoy. Love Matra. Love Matra means no time calculation. <coughs> Maybe one second. One second is also too much time. Sav Siddhi Hoy. This is the scripture words. Chaitan Chaitamrit or some Mahajan words. Here, thick bolchi kena. Love matra sav siddhi hai. What sadhu do? Sadhu give the way. Which way to move? And then we find the spiritual march. How I can calculate with my ignorant mind to sadhana? Uh, to, to the guru? How? Impossible. I want ignorant guru who make keep us ignorant. We go to school, college, why to keep us ignorant? What my capacity, I will find like that. 
Right, but I can see. I will find it out that. But sadhu show us what to do. Sadhu is not guru. Sanjali is first. If you not have a Sanjali association, Savasiddhi not happen. Mm-hmm. And then would Guru what say, love of Matra? Like I am sitting in this chair. He will try to say me, sit on bed. Change your position. In the uh, scripture way, your constitutional position. Where you are sitting, that change. You are sitting in your false ego, change that position. And who has to do it? I have to afford it for that. Change your position. You are sitting in senses, change your position. You have to leave that chair, then you change the position. If I say, I will change my position in my chair, impossible. How I will change in sitting in this chair, my position, only I will see this. Right? My vision will be only this. But when I will sit, I will see Gurudev. Without changing where you are sitting, this position, nothing achievement comes. And this, how to do it, how to practice, <coughs> Gurudev will navigate us. And if I have a desire for that, I will change my position. Love of Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sava Siddhi Hai. Why not increase the voice? It stop. Use this mic. This is from your mic. No, I don't want to. Yeah. You need the stronger mic. No, I don't need. Who knows he now come? No child now come. Then what will happen? Hmm. This is the position. Why not perfection coming? Why not thing coming? Because I don't want to change my position. This is my problem. I don't want to move from my consciousness of body or senses. So nothing changed. Hundred times listen, but no effect is happening. Without changing position, my vision not clear. Imagine I will see from this position, this vision, and when I will sit, I will sit from window, different position. I will give you a practical example. Love math, sadhu sanya samsiddhi, love math. Not takes ten years, twenty years to you. You have to decide to change your position. <coughs> you got the answer? <laughs> Thank you.
If I will find out in this position, my master, that is different position, and when I will find out from this place, is a different position. <coughs> Understand? Not clear? <laughs> <laughs> of the Samaveda, the following narration of the glories of Sri Guru can be found. Being sent by Javala, Satyakama Jabba came to Maharishi Gotama to learn the science of Brahman from him. The sage accepted him and engaged him in cow protection. Being satisfied with Satyakama's loyalty and service to his guru, Rishabha, Agni, Hansa, and others bestowed knowledge of Brahman upon him. Although Satyakama had received knowledge from them, he attained knowledge again by pleasing Gotama. Upa Koshala came to Satyakama to attain knowledge of Brahman from him. And Satyakama engaged him in services like fetching fire and so. Being satisfied with Upa Koshala's loyal service to his guru, Agni bestowed knowledge of Brahman upon him. Although he had already attained knowledge from Agni, Upa Koshala still pleased Satyakama and attained knowledge of Brahman from him and so forth. Such loyal service to Guru is also often narrated in the Vedic appendix, Mahabharata, in the stories of Upamanya, Utanka, Udalaka, and others. Vedega Jaharachito. Any comment before we move to the next shloka? Interesting moment, but the disciple already interesting moment, but disciple already got knowledge from Agni, but he still uh, continued his service to Shiguru and learning from him, and he again received same knowledge. It looks like same, but means the subject same, but I think the deep or some angle of vision different because the object of research is unfinished. The love is unfinished. It's other angle of vision and he sees more. It's not completely the same. What is the service for devotee he gives? What service? Ah, he, he, it's written here, he brought the touch fire for um, make fire for Yagya, what I understood. 
but this is not a very good service. No? Making fire, bringing the wood, cutting the tree, making the pieces of wood and bringing every day. This was his duty. Any small service, if the Guru give instruction, how honestly and seriously I follow, that is the meaning of devotion. That has to understand. This was wood for all ashram people, not for his guru only. For cooking, for kiyagya, for the cold time, no one should sit there. <laughs> All the circumstances, wood is going to use for everyone. And it's not a big job. It's not any bhajan or sitting and listening harikatha. But the sincerity of the service was so loyal that the blessing came to us. That the beauty to understand. What you said, that is no meaning. This is the meaning. Loyalty of the responsibility. How loyal you are, then Guru become merciful. He pleased with loyalty of your devotion. Not for your his his, his service. for all living beings, for the Paramatma and Atma, for the all living beings, for the Divine Lord, for the our Istadev, and the all molecule of the pure spirit, how you serve that? Because this is the part and parcel of divine. That is the meaning. No material senses, no body come in between. If you involve in the material senses and body, is material. Purity gone. And this loyalty always we have to pass. To receive the mercy is my experience in my life. If the loyalty is not there, <coughs> devotion is not there. And when devotion is not there, mercy will not come. And when mercy will not come, realization will never happen. This is not a sadhan sadhya. This is Kripa Sadhya. It comes through the mercy, not by my sadhana. What is the reason behind that? My loyalty and your devotion. What you say, how I am honest to serve that. That is the point. <coughs> Honesty in the instruction of the Guru. One is Bani, one is Bapu. Bapu means physical body. Bani is the words of the realized soul.
Sri Guru is an ocean of mercy. But he is not open. He not give mercy in every circumstance. This is the problem. Every moment he not give mercy. By your service, by my service, I have to melt him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, the loyalty and sincerity in the service met his heart. It's not easy that. Without that, you know man. And this mercy coming in my life. We no Guru give in this mercy instruction how to change your position. Everything come automatically. So we can hide from mother, father, everyone, everything. But nothing to hide and nothing to be honest with Guru Dev. <laughs> if you are not honest, he will know everything. And he will check that long way. He knows because he has a divine vision to see everything. When you keep privacy, he keep privacy. His privacy means he is very close. He will look but very distant. <laughs> this is the problem. He is a karma Sindhu. Why not he give karma when he has a mercy? <coughs> Radha Rani also karma me. Why not she give mercy? Because we are not pure. We don't want to be impure. Mind is impure, thinking is pure. my behavior is impure. So I know this is Karnama. And Guru is Karna Shri Guru is an ocean of mercy and the friend of the fallen. Lokanath Goswami is the life of the world. Friend of the fallen, but he never said that we are fallen. This is our problem. This is our liar. I'm nowhere, but we don't know. 
Our ego says, no, you are very elevated person. Ego, false ego. Keep distance from that. But we might not accept the honesty that we have fallen. <laughs> And why not open to him your bad condition? Then mercy comes. Just one time. I my realization is this. When you open to go there, flow the stuff. You cannot block it here. No, canal, dam can block the flow of this much. You make a dam to stop the flow of water. No any dam can stop that. Mm -hmm. It's so much simple. The flow will start. You cannot. He is living in the flow. More than thirty years have been. He leaves his body, but flow is still inside, flowing to me. I'm in the flow of more living. I have nothing, knowledge, no knowledge. No books I study. His flow is still floating, and I'm floating like this. That is He is Karnas, and you And her, she, is the name is Karnamai. One is <coughs> Gurudev and he bring to Karna man to Kishwami. <coughs> oh Lord, be gracious to me. And give me the shade of your lotus feet. I don't want that. I want to be in my umbrella, not in your umbrella. Right. I don't need your chair. This is my foot. <coughs> Now let the three worlds proclaim your glories. Sri Guru's attributes like compassion. While glorifying Sri Sri Gurudev, Sri Guru. Sri means Radhika Das. We Sri This is the qualification of Sri Guru. 
who can give you love. Guru Mantra, Gayatri, Prem Rupayat Email. Prem Rupayat. Radha Mantra. Sri Radhika Bedma. Prem Rupayat Email. Why? <coughs> he brings us for that, that I can realize the Alladani Prem. <coughs> so this means that Radha Dasi is the Guru. Correct me. When I am thinking on this line, that cling means teaching Krishna many places, and cling means Radha, Krishna, and Manjari. Twelve, twelve and half is Manjari. But yesterday I am listening Siksha Ashtakam. Only Krishna, 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 Krishna is coming. Why coming? I don't know. It comes to my heart that because many are in cling as a Krishna. And the last page was Mandiri Bhav. So it should be Krishna. Because for them is a killing means Krishna. And in this Krishna, Radha is there. <laughs> Allah is there. When Krishna, Allah is there. She said, Radhika is also there. <clears throat> but the Raganuga Bhakta, this cling is different. They are not interested to see Krishna. They are not interested to be out of a bhava. He wants to change his place, sitting there, and he fixed to see as a mandiri to Radha and a Krishna. In a bhav lasvati. That is fixed. So change is important to fix your asthai bhav. Because this chair cannot do this because of my faults, ego, my sense enjoyment. All is involved here in my material body concept. Impossible. <laughs> 
If not, I come to my constitutional position. It will never leave me. Never leave me. And I will be always moving, searching, finding out. We cannot be a sai in my constitutional position with you. And this says Siddhi. Sanchari is not Siddhi. Moving? I'm moving. I'm in the circle and moving, moving. There is no perfection can come. We have to fix and sit it for them. And when you fix, you are you are not a doer. And when you are not fix, moving is also doer nature. Hmm. Movement without doing, how you can move? <laughs> Simple, no? Simple. <coughs> what philosophy you need? Conclusion of all sastra, I see. Some of the attributes of Shri Guru, like compassion, and very humbly desires Shri Guru's compassion while describing this attribute. Shri Guru Dev is a boundless ocean of compassion. Shri Guru Karuna Sindhu. We have said that the personification of the Lord's deep compassion is Sri Gurudeva. When the heart melts and the mind will remain agitated until and unless that suffering is mitigated, this is called karuna or compassion. When we wish to understand the specialty of Sri Gurudev's compassion, we must first know what is meant by the Lord's compassion. Since Guru Dev is the incarnation of the Lord's compassion. Srimad Jiva Goswami Pada wrote in his explanation of God's grace. Although God is self-fulfilled, He creates a desire to serve in His servants. 
He creates a desire to serve in his servants. This well-wishing attitude of the Lord that accomplishes the good fortune of devotional service and so shows that his heart is melting and this is called compassion. The purport of this is that Although God is self-satisfied, self-delighted, and self-fulfilled, He can never remain indifferent towards His devotees, who are surrendered to His lotus feet, because He delights in their love alone. First, he awakens the desire to serve within his devotees' hearts. For without desiring to serve, the devotees' mind cannot merge in the craving for the Lord's service. Let me say again. For without desiring to serve, without desiring to serve, the devotee's mind cannot merge in the craving for the Lord's service. I understand. What do you think? Yeah. <coughs> Read loudly. Again? Repeat. Repeat. Understand the meaning. I start here. Although God is self fulfilled, He creates a desire to serve in His servants. <laughs> This well-wishing attitude of the Lord that accomplishes the good fortune of devotional service and so shows that his heart is melting and this is called compassion. So Gurudev is the incarnation of the Lord's compassion. And this explains how this is happening. Karnamai. Karnamai is Radhika. Gurudev is? Read the slide. Gurudev is a boundless ocean of compassion. The personification of the Lord's deep compassion is Sri Gurudeva. Again, it understands other as to understand. Compassion means karma. When the heart melts, <coughs> the mind will re and, and the mind will remain agitated until and unless that suffering is mitigated. <coughs> This is called karuna, or compassion. When we wish to understand... Once Gurudev is... Mercy of Lord, that is a compassion. 
is compassion. I spend in Gurudev. <laughs> <coughs> and compassion only Radha Rani has. No Krishna. She is the source Prema Lakshmi. understand the specialty of Sri Guru Dev's compassion, we must first know what is meant by the Lord's compassion. But Lord compassion, Radha, Krishna's compassion is right. Two things. Then, when I understand this, all become clear. Understanding is not clear, so problem is there. We think Krishna compassion, Krishna love. Are love is separate issue, Krishna is separate issue. Karna is separate issue. And Krishna is separate issue. This is Parkya Vah. Parkya means you have to understand the deep behind meaning of the line. All Gaudiya books written in Parkya If it's Rasik, sorry, if it's not understand Radha, Karna Mai, he will not do that. He's making books to sell. Rasikas who realize all they will rise this way. You have to find them. Chaitanya Chaitamri, Srimad Bhagavad, all this is written like this. Bhagavad Gita of Prabhupada. Other I don't know, because I don't see. One time I tried to see Narayan Maharaj book. It's too high for me to understand. I am very, very easy to understand. Prabhupada Mahagavarita is very deep, Narayan Maharaj, but for me it's very high. <coughs> you see, how clearly is mentioned. Karuna, 
वी डू साधना साधन भक्ति बट नो अचीवमेंट बिकॉज इस कृपा साध्य है नॉट साधन साध्य माने हो कृपा साध्य साधन साध्य बोलो इंग्लिश में व्याख्या करो इंग्लिश में कृपा साध्य मीन्स बाइक्रसाइजेशन वेन करुणा कमिंग यू सर दिस इज Krishna is requesting to Radhika to and give mercy. This devotee needs your mercy. You are not signed to Krishna, then you will not know higher desires. What is more, more to do? Why? Because without approval of Krishna, you not can go further. He will check that you are in material consciousness of your consciousness. Are <laughs> I some outsider go to your wife home to meet you, and then he say, "I want to see your girlfriend or lover. Can you?" We can sit together, talk together. You say okay, okay. First, I have to know you. Then I will have introduce my wife, husband. right? What is your intention? <laughs> intention materially, and you want to know her. <coughs> You are rascal. <laughs> you have no inside in my home. Go up, rascalero. <laughs> If your mind cannot enter that, mind cannot enter. Mm. Mm. The mind is impure. Mm. So we need <coughs> purity to close to her to get the mercy. How I will get mercy? She is karma. Right, my dear. She is Karna. So good day, my interesting this. So good day, but Sri Guru. Is the incarnation of Lord compassion? So you say compassion come from Sri Radhika because of she is Karuna Mai. So that means Sri Guru is really Radha Dasi. That's the point. Is a parki about? Mm. If you have no intelligence, Gaudiya book, not understand. 
actually without help with help of Sadhguru Vaishnava it is difficult is not to be understood. Sad, I say first line. Sadhu Sangha Sadhu. Mm. So sad. Mm. All the scriptures, any scripture is. <coughs> But sadhu has to be there, mm. not a sadhu. Mm. Mm. But the problem is this: only we see a sadhu, mm. a hypocrite, out of Vrindavan. Check. This is my experience of twenty-two years. Oh, you travel all all over the world. Every corner of the Twenty-two years. Then your realization is there. Then I say, well, I'm foolish about La Puja Pratishtha That famous I will become. People are worshipping. Business class ticket I got. Very nice lunch I had. Mm. Mm. Nice life I had. Mm. This is Sukhana Vista. Shit. Telling for shit. No understand. Mm. Then my Gurudev slapped me. You know? So that time they start defaming. This is slapping of Guru. Mm-hmm. In ten years, he had to live in Vrindavan to buy. And he will cry like a baby. Mm. I is not happening to me. My time is coming close. Mm. So sixteen I stop. My life up to fifteen, sixteen will be there. Ten years. Twenty-five, twenty-six. One, two years more. May maximum. Hmm. How much I want to do bhajan, realize. Karna my mercy will come, I don't know. More. Some time left. Yeah. Too much to do. Time is short. Mm. Without kirpa, how can possible? Sri Radha. Sri Radha. Read, read, Bhaiya. Tell me this time. Although God is self fulfilled, He creates a desire to serve in His servants. This well-wishing attitude of the Lord that accomplishes the good fortune of devotional service and so shows that His heart is melting and this is called compassion. Yeah, you do by your service. That heart is that melting. That's it. He's also mercy. 
<coughs> that you can melt heart with your behavior and social. <laughs> And this service melting heart of Guru or Swamini, my heart will also melt. More purity will come to me. Then see in terror. So kind. So much you went to find like this, no? By doing that, it is bhajan kriya. Service will become bhajan kriya. Melting heart is poison to me. The purport of this is that although God is self satisfied, self delighted, and self fulfilled, he can never remain indifferent towards his devotees who are surrendered to his lotus feet. <coughs> because he delights in their love alone. First, he awakens the desire to serve within his devotees' hearts. For without desiring to serve, the devotee's mind cannot merge in the craving for the Lord's service. Such eagerness for service is called Bhakti Baj Itiesha Vai Datu Sevayam Parikirti Awakening the desire to serve within his devotees' hearts and granting him the favor of his direct service because his heart is melting out of compassion and helpfulness. This is called the Lord's compassion. Let me read it again. Awakening the desire to serve within His devotees' hearts and granting Him the favor of His direct service because his heart is melting out of compassion and helpfulness. This is called the Lord's compassion. Sri Guru Dev is the tangible embodiment of the compassion of the Lord, who is engaged in awakening the desire to serve within the devotee's heart and gradually giving them devotional service. <coughs> so before, there's a, another sloka from Bhagavatam. This is such a beautiful description of how this desire to serve is, is really emanating from the Lord's heart 
his compassion for his devotees is the source of our desire to serve. <laughs> Mm -hmm. what, why is it compassion? This taste for service, it's because through the service we can uh, make our love flow, we can make Radharani present in our lives. Mm -hmm. For this reason it's a gift. The Lord gives us this possibility to let love flow in our lives, to bring Radharani into our lives. This sets its compassion. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Wow. In Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, Shima Narayana has told Gopal Kumar. Oh, my child, I was agitated seeing you, seeing you so indifferent towards me and becoming overwhelmed by compassion for you. I transgressed the beginningless religious principles that were established by myself. And I granted you birth in my own dear abode, Govardhan. Myself descending there as your guru named Jayanta. Seeing the miserable plight of the conditioned souls. The Lord assumes the form of the Guru and blesses them with the priceless gift of praying. Since the grace of the Lord in the form of the Guru is boundless, Sri Guru is Karuna Sindhu, an ocean of compassion. And in another sense also, the specialty of Guru's grace can be understood. When Sri Hari is angry, Sri Guru can protect the devotee. But but when the Guru is angry, no one can save him. Hence, Sri Guru must be pleased by all means. In the prayers of Devabhuti Devi, in the Padma Purana, it is seen. If I have more devotion for my Guru than for Sri Hari, then on the strength of that truth, Sri Hari will grant me his audience. If I have more devotion for my Guru than for Sri Hari, then on the strength of that truth, Sri Hari will grant me his audience. Just as the words, Tad Varishta show that the glories of devotion to the Guru are greater than devotion to the Lord. Similarly, it is indicated that the grace of Sri Guru Swarup is greater than the grace of the Bhagavata Swarup. Thus, Srila Thakura Mahashaya calls Sri Gurudev Karina Siddhu since he is the most merciful of all. And I'll read the footnote. Here, Guru Swarup means God's Guru form. 
Guru Swarup means God's Guru form, and Bhagavata Swarup means means God's own form. Although Shuru gave, although Sri Guru Dev is an ocean of compassion, the devotees that surrender to his lotus feet must be low and fallen, since he is the friend of the fallen. He who feels himself Adhamma or fallen is the natural receptacle of Sad Sadhu Guru's compassion. On the grace of the saints, Srimad Jiva Goswami Pada has written. So this is, this is interesting. <coughs> He who feels himself Adama or fallen is a natural receptor uh, of Sadhu, Sadhu Guru's compassion. This, I feel this Adama forum means humbleness to another people's. If we feel very fallen, then mercy will follow. If we are thinking, oh, I'm great, then mercy never come to us. This is a very, a very important point. I think. Those who are humble have the softest hearts. Mm. Yes, the most open hearts. Mm. Then person also, that person also softness can give mercy also. So Guru Dev is like a feel, you know, I'm so fallen. Guru Dev is so great, but uh, inside he's thinking, I'm so fallen. Mm. Yeah, we could think of an analogy like the nectar, you know? It's like the liquid, and the liquid can never flow up. <laughs> it can only go down. So if we're below, if we're low, then the nectar will flow to us. So it's descending, yeah? We can't go up to get it. We can't go up. You see, and become elevated, thinking, oh, if I become elevated, then I can receive this verse. No, opposite. We have to take the low position, and the nectar will flow to us. So then Guru Dev said, Sadhana Sitta. So we do sadhana. Oh, I'm done this sadhana, that sadhana. Then natural tendency, have, we have little fast up. Ground. Why Kripa Sitta? Because we are fallen. We think I'm lowest. Then mercy comes. Then easy to get affection. But if we say, oh, I've done so much sadhana, and then I got to some qualification, then not to, mercy does not to come. Yeah, this, this is exactly what we were talking about yesterday, when you said that you have to lift the love come to us instead of endeavoring and also you know reflecting on what Guru Dave was saying about being the, the viewer not the doer if we're endeavoring doing trying to um, if we kind of see it as a meritocracy like I deserve it I have to do something to deserve his grace you know we have that tendency right mm. that I have to earn it you know I have to do something to earn it <coughs> Instead, opposite, we have to, as it says, to become fallen, low and fallen, and you explain the nice humility. This is the meaning of humility. Yeah, and also that is a good day to say yesterday. That's a viewer position. That's a seer, viewer, not to do it. Viewer. Yeah, exactly. exactly. More it's passive, not, mm. not active. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> so here's a quote from the Bhakti Sandharva. On the grace of the saints, Jiva Goswami has written the following. Seeing the miserable plight of the conditioned souls, the saints shower them with their grace. This is not dependent on worship of the saints by the conditioned souls. This is not dependent on worship of the saints by the conditioned souls. For example, Sri Narada bestowed his grace on Mani Griva and Nala Kuvara as soon as he saw their miserable plight. So, what do you mean plight? To mean? Plight is uh, like a desperate situation. Oh, desperate situation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here it's interesting that again, this grace is not dependent on worship. Just by being in a low position, in a difficult position, automatically the Guru's grace is coming. <coughs> The same thing counts for the grace of Sri Guru. Some people are intoxicated by pride over their wealth, connections, and family lineage. And they serve the Guru according to their means with money. And when they see the natural satisfaction of Sri Guru, who is the embodiment of eternal joy, they think that they have been blessed with sufficient grace of the Guru. However intoxicated he may be by wealth and enjoyment, Guru's grace will one day bring him to the Lord's lotus feet. Such people should heed the great words of Takura Mahasaya. Guru Dev is Atama Janara Bandhu. Such people who always consider themselves to be low and fallen are the impeccable objects of Sri Guru's compassion. Impeccable means like um, perfect. Hmm? Oh, perfect. 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 Yeah. Fitting. And heed means heed. Excuse me? He He needs to, to follow, to obey. Follow. Obey. Okay. <clears throat> Guru's grace will never allow the object of his compassion to rot in the stinking gutter of hellish sense gratification. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, Guru's grace will never allow the object of his compassion will never allow the object of his compassion to rot in the stinking gutter of hellish sense gratification. Rot means? You know, gutter is we see here in Vrindavan so many gutters where the, where the, ah. the sewage is flowing, right? Drainage. Dra yeah, the worst than drainage. It's like the sewage is like really the lowest of the low. You know, okay. drainage can be any clean okay. water, okay. you know, but uh, gutter is really like the sewage. Mm. And lot means? 
Rot means to become rotten to. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> so they use this metaphor, the gutter of sense gratification. Uh, it's really kind of <clears throat> just depicting it as really the lowest of the low, and that's what we're talking about here: is the <clears throat> so, you know fallen and low. Yeah. A person who has attained real grace becomes absorbed in exclaiming, Aha Guru Kripa. The grace awakens such humility in him that a stream of ambrosial bhakti ras will shower him and always keep him immersed in Sri Guru's lotus feet. Yeah. Hence the blessed author says, Adama Janarabandhu. Yeah. So it means uh, someone who is get mercy, he's become very humble. One sense. So the way I understand it is we have to first assume the position of humility. Mm. Only from that low point can the nectar flow to us, can we receive the Guru's grace. So yeah, I, I think also we, we kind of remain in this humble state even after receiving His grace, right? But I think first, the purport here is that um, only those fallen souls can receive. You must be fallen. It says in the beginning. I read again. In the very beginning. Although Guru Dev is an ocean of compassion, the devotees that surrender to his lotus feet must be low and fallen since he is the friend of the fallen. And I think this grace awakens such humility. This describes prema mm. or lati or prema. Yeah. But low means low in the material sense without this ego. Yes, true. Yeah. And what means fallen? Then? Out of ego. Out of ego. Ah. Ego is holding us. He goes there. You see, you fallen. I was protecting you. Live with me. I will keep you on. Why you say that? You are fallen. You become high. Second floor, third floor. <coughs> but mercy flow if the lower place, like a water. If you want to bring water, you have to pump it. <coughs> My pump is not working. <coughs> That's the problem. Then not the flow, not the flow. We have to pump it up, then the flow is not possible. So again, the, like Jesus says, the fortunate ones are the fallen ones. Because all bad Jesus, what is talking, is bad philosophy. So, Church and not say that. So fortunate one is a foreign one, because the ego has gone. 
And they're open and soft and ready to receive. Or even not even receive to find the love in your own heart. But the ego is blocking. Now the lover has to come to beloved and he has to throw out ego to go to beloved. Love moves with the without fault ego. You cannot serve. You cannot make happy with the ego. So yesterday, so Radharani would give up everything for me. Hare Krishna give everything ah. for Radhika. Yes. But the Radhika give up everything for, for the pleasure, you know. Krishna. That is secondary. Mm. But Krishna will give up all the opponents to receive the mercy of Radhika. <laughs> yes, to, uh, to in Vrindama. Huh? And he, she want to give all the senses. What she has, a woman has a darohar. The wealth of the woman is the preserving the senses, not opening to everyone. They are the preserving, mm. covering this. These senses. And all she want to give for the pleasure of Krishna, for not my pleasure, for your pleasure. Oh. This is the giving. My senses, not for my pleasure, mm. for your pleasure I give you. This is the divine love. Are work senses, material senses like me? Are they are the soul. Soul has a body. And soul body has a soul that they are. How divinity is that? It's not like us, material funny thing. Totally highly de divinity. Buddha <laughs> Chow. Our senses is covered with material consciousness. And Radha Rani is divine. We cannot understand that with condition. Because we have no idea for divinity. We never test it for five minutes. How I will explain that? And divine body soul is Radhika. Huh? Divine body soul is Radhika. जो बगीचा में लाल रंग का बनाओगे बाहर तो बाड़ी में जो है नया ईटा लगाया उसमें भी कर देना भाई कर दिया तो पूरा बगीचा जो तो शॉप कर दिया क्या हुआ हां ओए कर तो नहीं था परसों नहीं था ए राजा बाबा जी बोल दिया तो वो शेदिर कर दिया बगीचा में वाह ठीक है So this is the point. 
तो तो महाराज भी खाएंगे हो गया सानंद दास बाबा जी को नो बडी कैन राइट just bring the book and he went to anandal bawal four five book of him your books never say where is a scripture mention about siddha dehan manjari bawal prove me the in through the scripture where is this क्षमा कर It's written. I'm very uneducated.